All these years after his death in 1943, almost everyone in the country, and indeed most of the world, knows of the greatness of George Washington Carver and his works. Dr. Carver almost single-handedly turned southern agriculture around in the face of the boll weevil infestation and the subsequent collapse of the cotton economy. He became famous because of his work at Tuskegee Institute with the peanut plant and the many uses he found for it. Food, pharmaceuticals, plastics, and many more products were derived from this lowly legume solely by the fertile mind of the genius, Carver. We all know something of these achievements, but how many of us know about his equally great contributions to the community in which he lived? Carver was a friend to all in the Tuskegee community. He saw rich and poor, black and white, young and old as God's children, and treated everyone well, showing each the same degree of respect. He was equally at home with the likes of Henry Ford and Franklin Delano Roosevelt, as he was with the poor farmers in the Tuskegee community, who benefited so much by his efforts. One of the greatest contributions of Carver was to take what he developed in the laboratory out to the people. The Jessup wagon that we all know about was an early start, and today this work continues. Carver not only took the products out, but he would take out paints and he'd take out foods and vegetables and seeds and he'd stay overnight and live with the families and paint with them and plant the seeds with them and their quality of life improved, not only their diet but the aesthetic, the beauty around them, their, their yards, and just improved their life tremendously.